New York City cannot survive just by building luxury condos. Amen. 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 Woo! Yes. Woo! Everyone in our communities, from the middle class to low income communities, all they ask is how can we protect meaningful jobs? How can we create meaningful high paying jobs? It's just not by destroying our local economies to provide room and space for building luxury condos. Look at what happened in Williamsburg. Look what is happening in Bushwick, even in Red Hook. If anything, we recognize that manufacturing is alive and is growing. And I want to thank Mayor Bill de Blasio for making an announcement that he's going to triple the funding that is provided to all the industrial business service providers that help connect manufacturing to the workforce, to access to capital, to provide the tools that will enable them to grow and expand and create the jobs that they are creating. With all the talk, about the decline of U.S. manufacturing, the truth may be lost on many. The United States remains the world's largest manufacturing economy and supports nearly 20 million jobs in the United States. Here in New York City, from 2010 to 2014, the industrial sector finally halted its decades-long decline. For this reason, we must make promoting manufacturing a national priority and a local priority, not an afterthought. This especially holds true for New York, where manufacturers are looking to start and expand. And as New York City Council Land Use Report points out, industrial jobs are critical to communities of color. 80% of the jobs holders are of color. Over 60% are foreign born and those who lack a college degree. It is striking that nearly one in seven Hispanic New Yorkers has a job in the industrial sector. These jobs provide an important source of living wage employment for communities across my district, including the neighborhoods of Woodhaven, Richwood in Queens, Bushwick, Cypress Hill, East New York, and Sunset Park. I want to take this opportunity to thank Melissa Marguerite, the speaker, for holding this important hearing today. And many of our families, they work, they want to live and work in Sunset Park. They want to live and work in Red Hook. So there is no contradiction. But let me just say, if we're going to destroy, if we are going to allow industrial zones, M3, to be able to be rezoned and build hotels and build luxury condos, who is going to survive by having uh, service sector jobs? How could they? This, this will destroy the possibility of building affordable housing because not even the affordable housing that we will, will be built will allow for this family to remain in their neighbor, neighborhood. Thank you, Opro. Thank you, Power, and all the organizations that are here. You are fighting to protect the fabric of New York City. And you are the lobbyists of our manufacturing sector and our unions here. We don't have the luxury. Manufacturing companies don't have the luxury of hiring high paying lobbyists. We gotta fight to make sure that our communities remain livable communities for all people. Thank you. Yeah.